I have a Louis Vuitton unboxing from Fashion File for you today. Of course, there's a little bit of a story behind it, and I'll tell you that after this message from our sponsors. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget cleaning up while I'm talking to you. So if that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. Like I said, I have a fashion file unboxing. It's a Louis Vuitton item, and the story behind it is that not sure I'm keeping it. The only reason for that, this is not an item that I've ever seen in person before. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love the item itself, but the reason I'm not sure I'm keeping it is because I think I overpaid, which I didn't realize until after I'd already bought it. For some reason, when I saw this on Fashion File, well, I had seen one and I had never seen this item before in this size, and somebody else bought it, and then another one popped up and I bought that. And then it wasn't until a while later after I already purchased this that I thought, you know, I wonder if anybody's selling this item on eBay. So I went there and found it for like $200 less than what I paid. I might return this to Fashion File and get that one instead, but I might not. I don't know yet, I haven't decided. I gotta see this, I gotta do a wet fit, and then I'll make up my mind. Fashion File couple of pieces of confetti and it's all gray, which is very appropriate for 2020. It's literally all gray. There's a pink sticker and all the confetti is gray. All right, here's my receipt, my fashion file, nail file, and then the item wrapped up in here with gray confetti. It's just a handful of nothing but gray confetti. I'm just surprised because it's usually gray and pink. I don't care. It doesn't bother me at all. I'm not a big fan of pink, so gray works for me. It's just unusual. It's in a Fashion File dust bag. What is moving around back there? Oh, that must be the tags. Okay, open it up. And we reveal a Louis Vuitton toiletry. This is the Truce Toilette. Let's see what they call it. Yeah, the monogram truce toilet. There was something, hmm, yeah, interesting. They didn't, okay, couple things right away here, yeah. Fashion File has been calling these, they've had a few pop up lately, they've been calling these the Truce Toilette 19. I want to measure it because on eBay, on eBay, these aren't listed as a 19, they're listed as an 18, and that's because when you measure it, it's 18 centimeters, not 19. So I'm not sure why they're calling it that unless they're just trying to get people to it by searching for the toiletry 19, because you know there's the toiletry 15, and then there's the bigger 19, and then the bigger 26. Now I've talked about wanting something like this, that's a rectangular boxy pochette for my handbags. And I had talked about the, the monogram eclipse version that's in stores, the small size, which is probably about this size. But that was, it's over $600 and I'm just not 100% sure I wanted to spend that much on it. However, I ended up spending about, with tax and shipping and everything, about 500 on this, which is why I have a weird feeling about it because I really think that's too much. Why did I spend that much if I thought it was too much? I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes we do things and we don't even understand ourselves. But I saw one on eBay that seemed to be in as good condition as this, even though it was older, and it was 300 something. Yeah, looking at this one, first impressions, I already feel like I want to return it, and let me show you why. In the photos, they, they have good photos on Fashion File, but they did not show good photos of the zipper. Look at that zipper. Look how messed up that is, like how tarnished it is, how the gold has worn off and it's dark there. Now, I mean, the zipper can be cleaned up some with Brasso, and there was no photo at all of the zipper pull. The one on eBay that I saw had an eclair zipper, so it was definitely still tarnished because those eclair zippers, what are they, about 40 years old at this point? But I'll take that kind of zipper wear tarnish on an eclair zipper. This one, maybe not so much, especially at this price point. In case you don't know, these tags can't remove them unless you want to keep the items, so I'm going to keep them on since I may not be keeping this. But let me give you a spin, look at the outside, and then we shall look inside. And then I'll do a separate video on what fits in this size pouch. I've seen these, by the way, in the 26 size, which I, I don't want one that big. There's a larger one, is it 32? Is it that big? Maybe 28. 32 seems huge for something like this. Again, I had never seen this size, the 18. I'm gonna just 
not do what I just said I was gonna do. Instead of giving you a spin, I'll do that in a minute. But the reason that I wanted that piece was to have another option. I use my pochette accessoire as a catch-all in my bags. And then I use the toiletry 15 to hold things that might spill because it has like things that have liquid in it, like hand sanitizers, because it has a wipeable lining, whereas the pochette has a canvas lining. So if something spills in there, it's gonna stain it. I have found that the toiletry 15 is sometimes too small for what I want to carry in here. And I could look for a toiletry 19 that's a little bigger but they've been ridiculously expensive. I also was thinking I might want something that's squishier like this so when I came across this that's why I jumped on it so quickly. All right now let's take a look at the spin. Here is one side you have four monogram LVs on the front and then this side here. Now one thing I would note is this LV right in the center there and I'll talk about that in a minute. The other side is exactly the same as the front and then this side has another LV. Notice this one is upright and this one is upside down. That is because this bottom piece is one piece. And the thing I wanted to note is that on this one, the LVs are centered on that piece, but on the one that I saw on eBay, which is an older, even more vintage piece than this, they weren't centered, they were off center. And I thought that was strange. I don't doubt the authenticity of it, especially since it was a piece coming from Japan, but it was still strange. So that was the bottom, here is the top. And let's finally unzip it, see what's inside. The zipper is kind of tight. Just giving it a good cleaning would help with that and running some wax paper over it would help with that. Ooh, nice. The inside is in really good shape. It has some staining. A lot of these toiletry, truce toilets do, but let's take a look. So here's the inside. There's some staining there, you can see. So it has this one big pocket, slip pocket there. And then it has these two elastic pieces where you could stand up a bottle or something. And the whole interior is wipeable. Now, one thing you wanna look for if you're looking for one of these vintage truce toilets is that the lining is not peeling because that's a problem that some of them have. And that was not mentioned in the description and I don't see any peeling here, so that looks good to me. It does seem very roomy and spacious inside. I like that. So I'm looking forward to my wet fits. Now this is vintage enough that it doesn't have a date code or maybe it does and I just haven't seen it yet. So let me look for that. It has one of these tags here and usually it's my understanding that if a piece has one of these tags, that it's pre-date code, which means it's early 80s. And it says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France on that little tag. So let me look around and see if I can see a date code anywhere. One thing I'm surprised about, I've never looked at one of these in person, like a vintage one or a contemporary one, is that the lining is not connected to the coated canvas on the outside. You can pull the lining away See how it's wrinkly there? You can pull the lining away from that canvas. That's not the case on these toiletry pieces. This is a great size though. I'm really happy with that. The elastic is still really stretchy. There's another spot there, that little blue spot. Seems like in the photos there was a little pink spot somewhere, but maybe that was a different piece. Yeah, I don't see a date code anywhere. So the only thing I'm not really liking on the piece is the zipper, the wear on the zipper. Otherwise, it's a cool piece. I think it would work really well. Oh, I forgot to point out that it has piping around the edges, which means that there's no glazing on it, which is a good thing. Yeah, the little bit of staining inside doesn't bother me, but the zipper does. Maybe it shouldn't, but it does. I like it. I still think I might return it and get the eBay piece, but whatever happens with it, I will certainly let you guys know. All right, I'm gonna end this video and film my what fits, and maybe that'll be the next video you see from me. So thank you for tuning in. I hope you tune in for that one as well, especially if you might be interested in one of these. I appreciate you watching. I hope that you and your loved ones are doing well, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.